Me in Nigeria is not better than Ghana today. Ghana is Ghana is just like America to Nigeria today. Uh. I'm telling you honestly, Ghana is just like America to Nigeria today. Ghana is just like Britain to Nigeria today. Even you claim that Asati war are better than Nigeria. They gave us food the other day. You claim Asati war is better than Nigeria. You claim they gave us food the other day. Have you seen it? The only problem we we are not, we are not hearing Russian missile, Russian drone, Russian artillery, Russian shelling. That's the only difference between us and you claim. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. No be in my mouth to hear Ramu, because you no come for me. No be in my mouth to hear Ramu, because you no come for me. No be me talking. Why are you coming for me? Why this video? It's in the property owner who intends to rent out such property to a non Ghanaian. To first of all, check on the immigration status of that non Ghanaian. And for that, the law says that if you ignore this and go ahead to rent a such property to um, the non Ghanaian and you are found out, you are liable of contravention of the immigration at 2000. So recently we issued out a press release reminding um, property owners, Ghanaian property owners, to be mindful of the details of the law and ensure that whenever they intend to rent out a property to non ghanaians they should ensure that they have proper immigration status. service They seem to be sleeping on the, their job. I mean, mm. uh, what are they doing? Because then uh, I'm expecting that by now they should have been telling us how many foreigners are coming into this country, how many of them, the protocol, uh, governing, uh, the protocol governing the West African National mm -hmm. says are 90 days. Yeah. Do people just come and they stamp without recording where they are coming from, without recording where they are coming to stay? And you cannot focus, you cannot focus on, uh, you know, on the end of the journey without focusing on trying to stop them. Okay. If you put in measures to stop them, put in more restrictions, make sure quality immigration, quality immigrants are coming in. Mm. Then those who have already slipped through and have probably metamorphosed into something else, mm -hmm. we find a way to stop them. Now, you are welcoming and when you go to Gogu, you ask Gogu how many Ghanaians in Nigeria, Gogu will tell you, say, the Ghanaians that they in Nigerians are 500,000 Ghanaians. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? To me, you lie. Nigerians already editing it because they are good in risky media. Then, ask Gogu how many Nigeria in how many nigerians in ghana the same gogu who told you say it's not even reach hundred thousand now seventy seven thousand seventy seven seventy seven thousand nigerians in ghana do you agree with that the answer is no means something is fushy then when you are coming out like you see you see it some people you know when you come for investigations <laughs> i know how to investigate i know how to find out something and as you can see i have a lot of people who are find out uh, who are sending a lot of information and need to find out more how can you tell grown up like me say nigerian that is in day ghana is seventy-seven thousand. you don't even reach hundred thousand. and why ghanaians in in the population of nigerians who only population in circle market alone. Circle, circle, no, I don't even the circle market, Labadi market. <laughs> Why am I even talking Labadi market? Medina market, Nigerians in Medina market alone is more than, it's, let's say, it's more than 50,000 people. Nigerians in Medina market alone. If they say make the counting, Nigerians in Medina market alone. Then somebody just go to Google and do a bit, say that Nigerians in Ghana are 77, 
you know, it's hundred thousand, seventy seven, seventy seven thousand, seventy thousand. Let's say some, you know, even seven, uh, seventy thousand. Now, be the population of the Nigerians in Ghana. When you go to Google right now and Google, that's what Google will draw for you. Because why? They are good in media editing. Now, ask Nigerians how many ga go and go and ask Google how many Ghanaians in Nigeria. Google will tell you say five hundred thousand Ghanaians, thousand five hundred thousand Ghanaians are in Nigeria. Funny me. You go and Google, go and Google how many Nigerians in Ghana. You will see it. Why, by the way, me as a day, I know if you think I'm lying, let uh, let people go and do counting. If you know, get 10 million Ghanaians in, if you know, get 10 million Nigerians in Ghana, call me Vasca. 10 millions. But Ghanaians are no good in their that editing. And they are not doing counting. They're not the country who they even enter Ghana. Yes. They are not counting it. That's why people cannot record. The record is not there. Okay. The record is not there. Because if they are counting and they are seeing their address, their information, where everybody is going to, I don't think they are going to be no discriminating and no barbar thing. Because they are not counting. That is what I can see. Obviously. Because we need good name. We don't want bad, bad things to happen. Although, what did you How do you assess the relationship between Ghana and Nigeria? Well, it's been um, one of uh, uh, no love loss. Uh, it's been checkered and uh, eventful at the same time. So, um, uh, they are brothers, they are sister nations, if you like. But uh, there have been some frictions, like you have mentioned. By the way, the um, uh, expulsion in 1983, um, like you said, was um, as a result of uh, under uh, former President um, uh, Chagari was um, because of economic um, uh, crisis. And so um, Nigeria had to, and then the religious um, uh, issue, the Kanu riots, you said, 1980 and 81. Um, but remember that similar thing has happened in Ghana under, um, you know, Prime Minister um, Kofi uh, Busia, you know, as Prime Minister in, in Ghana, 1969. You know, some uh, 200,000 um, uh, people were uh, expelled, but it, uh, mainly half of them were Nigerian for a similar reason. You know, when then it was the fact that. Um, uh, locals were complaining about um, unemployment and then uh, partly because Nigeria had also taken up um, uh, maybe jealousy because Nigerian traders, cocoa, they were involved in mineral works. They were doing very well in trade. And so um, the locals were now saying, ah, listen, these people are good. They are taking up, they are taking our jobs. And usually governments at times will take up, they, they, they bring these policies when there is an election coming and then um, it, it becomes a, a popularist uh, you know they want to be popular to show the the people that they care um so it hasn't helped so that uh, 69 in ghana then followed by um 83 in nigeria it hasn't helped um, uh, any of these um, uh, the relationship because it only helps to to uh, really sour the relationship um, particularly with um, ECOWAS. ECOWAS that came up came um, in 1975. So if that of uh, 1969 could be excused, that of um, 1983 by Nigeria, uh, when all the, the two countries are members of ECOWAS, could have been handled in, um, in a much better way. So the relationship, like I said, they, um, is one of competition. And then there are histo historical um, issues to also look at. Uh, you remember, Ghana got independence in 57, Nigeria 1960. But in 1966, that was when the two countries experienced um, a military coup. Nigeria in nine, uh, January 1966, and then in, in Ghana, February 1966, the one that took out um, um, uh, independence um, uh, president in uh, Ghana. Uh, 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 Kuma. So um, that is how it has been in football, in every area. But I can tell you, uh, both nationals of both countries, 
uh, in spite of this rivalry, and uh, they also feel at home. Uh, I will say that Nigerians are better at, feel at better at home in, 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 in foreign country. Ghana mm. is um, where they do, and Ghanaians uh, vice versa. When they are in Nigeria, in spite of um, the rivalry and competition, I think there are so much in common that both countries can. Um, uh, again, uh, this issue of a rivalry, like the trade, um, Nigerians were recently doing uh, trade acts. They were being asked uh, to take some, you know, ridiculous amount. And then uh, Nigeria also closed its borders. So there have been some irritants. But that should be expected. Even families, they have uh, issues. Husband and wife, brothers and sisters in a family. And then so it also extends to international relations. All right, so, so it's not one. Yeah, it's not one that is so is bad. Okay. I think uh, it can be improved upon. Yeah, in terms of building upon the relationship between the two, do you perhaps, you know, recently with there was a bit of a frosty relationship, partial frosty relationship between Ghana and Nigeria owing to a demolition of uh, Nigeria's uh, uh, com uh, high commission in Ghana. So do you think perhaps that we, we, in, one, in one sense affect any bi relationship, I mean bilateral relationship between the two countries, do you think? It has a tendency to do that, but that is because the countries are not talking. There is no communication. And then they have to, I remember that after that happened, that was followed by the issue of um, uh, also um, the Ghanaian government uh, talking about this um, investment um, uh, act that requires um, foreigners to deposit about $1 million because before they can do business. That shouldn't be uh, happening. They have a coerce, they, they all belong there, that talks about a uh, free movement of people, goods, and um, rights to residents and um, uh, establishment. So if there are issues, they should come together. I think the both leaders are now talking. There is the Nigeria-Ghana uh, uh, Commission, bilateral commission, we talked about it. They should meet and iron out um, these issues because it's not... Um, um conflict resolution um you, you, the world uh, you know any if anybody tells you that uh, there can be a war without uh, conflict or, or crisis that is being naive but it's now on the uh, capacity to be able to resolve them to be able to mediate and get them out of the way so nigeria and, and ghana they have a lot more uh, 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 similarities than um, things that divide them i think they should now uh, enhance those things that um, bring them together than um, uh, focus on things that are dividing them. All right, uh, that is the way to go. A fine place. Sometimes, when I hear the word, Ghanaians are jealous of Nigerians, and I ask myself, what are their jealousies? What are the Ghanaian jealousies of Nigerians? Not just questions. Nigerians is not feeding. Nigerian is not feeding any Ghanaians. Ghanaians are the one rather happy. <laughs> Some Nigerians as I know. I hope you understand. I have a lot of Ghanaians in Nigeria who are suffering. They don't receive any help from anywhere. Anyway. But Nigerians in Ghana, I have a lot of Ghanaians who are helping them. I know, the one I know. I know them. The one I even know them physically. Then the people come in and say, Ghanaians are jealous of Nigerians. I don't understand. Nigerians have never even helped their self finish. I don't want to take help Ghanaians before Ghanaians can even jealous of them. I don't really know. But I'm still asking questions. Somebody should come and tell me how, what makes, wow, like how Ghanaians are jealous of Nigerians. Because just like dream, my eye is not clearing to that. Still learning to know how the jealousness is going. I just want to know. I'm waiting. Come and tell me. Wash. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Niger. And good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever your listeners are. And good day, too. And I uh, hope you're well. Yes. I uh, listened to your posting that you did and the audio that many of us were contributing to. And uh, you did say in your audio that 
uh, you yourself do get people coming for you personally. What I say to you, Mr. Naja, is don't ever be afraid to speak the truth. Okay? Whenever you speak the truth, you get people history and then um, disregard the part that you don't think is so good. It's all part of the history you need to learn. And that is when we'll make you um sort of not repeat the past mistakes if you learn the bad part of your history say, oh god my recording is so bad which is what the best are refusing to do they have to learn the bad part and they, they are they, what they see as good part of their history as well you know because you learn both sides it gives you a strong and one one last thing i was saying is uh, regarding history you know one thing you know say not all history is of uh, uh, any uh, particular group of people or race or is always being good not always it, it doesn't matter where in the world you are whether in africa or europe or there are mistakes our ancestors also made such as uh, helping to contribute to this enslaving of ourselves which led to the great disaster that uh, occur on the african continent like enslaving. some of our ancestors contributed to it so not all history is good but there are also good part of our history that we should also learn both sides you know and then be proud of the good part i would say but we should not discard the fact that the bad history as well because we yes as well and also it doesn't teach you know i'm sure in nigeria and many other places they all put up a fight and a resistance towards these europeans we should do well to learn our history media my issue they say when you're coming to give a history give it accurately as you will have documented documents to back it up don't come and say things that you know especially this a uh, year master manager is serious in here or, or, or show yeah about this period in ghana history yoruba for no kind um on yoruba for no they are saying it solely from their point of view you know and to me it's like an agenda based thing that they're doing Oh, you cry about her chair. You cry, you say, 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 yes, opportunities now, more ancestors got you know, to be doing business. You know, I remember one story cross some of my aunties told me, say, on a part of the family, I said, I'm going to go to during the uh, time of uh, Abrofunu ruling. You know, so many places are now Abrofunu, my no go area before we're not allowed to go there. And just in the mammy, no money in an animal crown. What they used to do is on Sunday, no, or my choir, sorry, or so my dress on their Sunday best to go, whatever. No, sorry, my recording broke again. I seem to be having this problem anyway. As I said, uh, you did say that you yourself you get people coming for you saying you are the problem. You are not the problem, Mr. Niger, because you're speaking the truth. And whenever you're speaking the truth, people will come for you because often it will go against their interests. It go against their own agenda, right? And that is why they would attack you. Not because uh, what many Ghanaians are saying on your audio is necessarily wrong. Maybe some of us will come and speak with a lot of passion and some will come and they try to calm down and so forth. But as long the 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 truth of the everybody contribution is we all saying the same thing. Uh, I will say this too to my fellow brothers, particularly brothers that they come a bit with, you know, miniano, Mr. I come in peace. Sometimes, you know. So we become we know we become we know we become we are now I say, Seb you. As some corona, you cry, you pass, you can, you convey to people who are listening to Mr. Nigerano. Na ayira, because na se ye ni na ye jiru. Oh, na dene we be kan we chiri, na dene we be kan we chiri we. Me ni mse, e we asin ye ni na ano. A jiru we ni ba kufuti. E na ye ni na aso no. Ye ye a dia dia the way ame ye no. Me me susu se ubi sube ye ni sa ye ni na i we we a ye ye ni oma. Sanity, sanity, I'm a boy in your auntie. Yeah, now you're a bit of uh, understanding and calmness, and even temper our response. Even so, we become some crying in your temper it, you know. 
And I always believe, sir, when we have this kind of uh, an engagement and discourse, sir, we will get somewhere because, as I said, no, you know, you know, me pay history, pa. Even since school, go school, me catch uh, my wolf for cry, sir. Because the baby no movie, some number cast and per se me history. Could be be I am papa say, ah, history, don't require them, but it's something that is my passion. Now, when I, I, I didn't even do it after a certain point in my education, you know? even in, in my growing time and as I'm growing into adulthood and becoming who I am today, I take opportunity to learn history. History is fascinating. And one thing that we have to know about history is when you learn history and you learn it well, uh, Oh, a boo when you be brave, a boo when you pa 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 pa, you be surprised. Secondly, no, so no, it helps you to be more grounded as a person. It doesn't help you to uh, be more, say, you know, a more some understanding and ground you as a human being. So, oh, this is where I'm coming from. This is where I belong. Oh, and then when you even it gives you such a knowledge to the sense that who call out to deal with other people cry i mean to me personally you know, i think it makes me even interact interacting with other people you know, much better it really does but one thing i know particularly in africa we don't learn about history proper in any year and ghana cry they make us say boo we don't even agree on our history anyway and then come on the bed oh yeah come on the bed in the oh when they say that's the kind of thing we do well hmm. ain't you know yeah now uh, and no, no, it distorts our history, Kakra. And to me, no, yeah, nas, me, 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 team, pen, you for no cry, we move him, papa say, no, mommy, a lot of information. Uh, my family, no, me, a traditionalist, into no, um, um, we hold a lot of information, only work us a bit more commercial. And then you can research, and a lot of this Yoruba history, yeah, yeah, Kenya. Me, I so say, Yoruba for no more, me, name the Omo Parkana. A very recent history. And to who call, he say, the Commonwealth archives now is there. You find some there. You go to some of the British universities. You find some there. You go to some of the, Br the British museums. You find it there. You know, there's so many places uh, you can get access to this particular colonial colonial time history and the wars that we fought and in as in uh, the whole of uh, Africa. No, Ashanti's name MC Zulus were the ones that mounted a very very strong campaign. You know, against the the British, you know. and it is very, 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 very meticulously documented. You know, Ashanti's and the Allies, you know, mounted a very good campaign. Now, even cra observers are more yeah, even cra places like um um if saying Sweden, they even have records about this Ashanti, uh, the the Serengeti War, some friends say Serengeti War, no, and mine Serengeti War. No? Um, a lot of record because someone say at that time you now this period in the history of Africa, abrofuni ni na no mu woho. Now it depends on who is dominating at the time. Now at the time you now when the Asantis came into prominence, you know, it was the British that was dominating. The British have dislodged the Danes, the Dutch. They were all along the West African coast. You'd be surprised to hear even Christ Sweden was there. Sweden was there. Portugal was there. Spain came in later because Spain, you know, they were busy in the America for hunting. Almost committed a lot of atrocities there. And you know, they came late to the, the to, to, to West Africa. Portuguese were the first to make a real inroads into our, our coast, Guinea coast to Honum, and they brought a whole lot of a home. Ain't he Mama and you say? The history that we are learning, we are using it to bash anybody. No, one thing about history is when say, "So who children want children here?" That's the wrong one. Okay, now, okay, oh, now, okay. In the Yoruba phone, now, how many are brain? As many people are saying, it shouldn't be something that they should get uprated about. Okay, some of your ancestry, you know, some of the Yoruba, the ancestry came with the British, which is around two hundred years ago. It's true, but I said, and said. What they should remember, say so those that came, you know, they should not be asking Ghanaians to celebrate them. It's an insult to us. It's it's also uh, uh, touching on a lot of Ghanaians' sensi sensitivities, which is rightly so because it is our ancestors they're talking about. I remember one of uh, somebody was even once saying at some point, he said, "Oh, uh, even a Ghana independence, Accra, 
we, we it was it's just three people that were short the spark of the independent what has happened before then a hundred or two hundred years ago there were massive battles there were many many battles even a hunter in zimafosi when the abrofunu came down their coast and wanted to enslave you know they were massive battles they were fiercely resistant towards them as usual you no know, when we came short was our weaponry <laughs> They have more advanced weapons. It wasn't the bravery of our people. Even can you imagine? You know, and as I said, the level of history like I am, which I love history. Sometimes you read some of these texts, you read some of these books or texts or uh, documented information and you ask yourself, sorry, a man will take it upon themselves to go <clears throat> and walk on those parts of Accra. Now, Abrofono have called in of say, maybe before be am mefaho. Maybe before no indigenous no indigenous people of Accra or whoever that were living there at the time they should not go there, you know these black people were not allowed to go there. So the places were coordinated because they were so fearful of their indigenous no. And see the people that would be allowed into these areas no other people that are working there or they have a business doing there, you know. But one thing that I said, said these Yoruba people should also remember, said because of the collaboration and the cooperation they had with the Abrofuno, it gave them a lot of advantage. Because the Abrofuno were willing to uh, sort of uh, accommodate their wants and need in order for them to to uh, uh, do what they want, you know, like taking away our resources and demanding, going to our kings and demand. People don't even know, say, after the Segurenti war with the Asante, Abrofuni tried a Asante for to pay X amount of gold. They did. That's one thing they do. Asante don't have to give them X amount of gold. You know? And, and things like that. And so these are very, very um, um, sensitive history for us as a Ghanaians. Don't come to the studio and then start telling us that your ancestors were this. Even at some point, one document to be I watched one time, Krampa was so angry and it was a Ghanaian interviewing them. The people were even literally say, say it was it is their so effort and so forth that brought about some uh, independence. Not because of, what, what is this? What about our ancestors that were battling in the field dying? from all the way from Cote d'Ivoire to 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 the uh 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 Aflaocos. but what do you mean sir it was your and uh, you know they were battling and fighting at every opportunity they got unfortunately for us a lot of this history you know a lot of these battles and they are with the europeans because we didn't document many we didn't keep keep a lot of the archive so as the older generation die they took their stories with them you know let nobody be afraid to speak the truth always speak the truth as you know it speak the truth proper truth genuine truth don't just say it speak the genuine truth and let nobody say if you the story that you your best are putting out is as accurate as you are claiming why should you worry about what somebody else is saying then say so uh this is my proof to say say what you're saying it is not accurate and let the other person to come out with their truth or their documentation to back up what they're saying but what we know we know our history on the in the land of ghana the land that is now gonna we know our history it's been told to us you know there are some in our you know if you go to some of our king palaces are they are there they could even tell you this and that gun that we're using it was all there this was the gun that we were using to fight these battles this was the king at the time we we're fighting and one thing that you should remember there are uh, a lot of um Ghanaian society, when they are battling, they are royals also battle, sometimes to the point of their prominent chiefs take up these battles as well. And within the Guaranty Wars, you know, within their kinds in particular, a lot of their royal, high ranking royals were also fighting, and some died. You know, they died, and the record is all there. The record is there. So let nobody fool anybody about history. And please, it's very, very disingenuous to come to us telling us a history that uh, you see it and when we tell you that this is what we also know about our history it becomes a problem for you uh, Sebu, you are um, a settler 
who have come in to settle on this uh, you know now i don't know why all of a sudden this agenda has come up the ghana has to by force recognize that yoruba is a ghanaian tribe yoruba is a tribe that originated from nigeria they have a very strong history and strong uh, traditions and customs in nigeria nobody doubts that they have migrated to ghana we're living with them peacefully if they claim they have ghanaian passport that's no problem i mean some of us uh travel around the world you can obtain whatever passport if the law of the land permits and if you fall within the criteria that the laws permit you can get the passport so that is not a problem for anybody you know the problem is when you are trying to force the tribe onto us that is where the problem lies Ghanaians don't have any problem with anybody that falls within the laws and uh, the rules of Ghanaian uh, citizenship and the Ghanaian government says these people falls within not the backward uh, back way fictitious and fake way now they're going around getting our passport which is another problem that we Ghanaians are even storing up as well for ourselves but if you go through the genuine process and you you fit the criteria and you get the documentation wherever you are it's not a problem for Ghanaian Ghanaians have never said that Ghanaians have lived with many many people and as you said one of the biggest tribes the Ghanaians lived with is Burkina and um, from Burkina a lot of tribes from Burkina are living with Ghanaians you know yes most simple even Mosi you cannot say that Mosi is because some part of Mosi is in Ghana but the big part of Mosi is in Burkina a lot of them are living with Ghanaians but you never hear any frictions with them never they even came and fought with uh, the Ashantis the Moses, they were a big contingent of uh, warriors. They came and joined the Ashantis to fight. You know, you never hear any issues said about the Moses. So how come it's always Nigeria? The, the, recently was the Igbo king. <laughs> uh, he, Ghana, uh, uh, was it, no, he said, he too is saying Ghana Igbo. Igbo king of Ghana. And now it's the uh, Ghana Yoruba. And now some of us say Ghana Yoruba. I mean, come on now. Let's leave it there. You qualify to get the naturalization because maybe you have lived there for some generation or you qualify through other ways to get out Ghanaian documentation. Nobody have an issue with you. You live within the laws of the land, the rule of law. You obey the rules in the country. Nobody have an issue with you. But let not sit there and say, say Ghanaians should sit back and if people are doing things that is not right now, Ghanaians shouldn't speak because they sat any other. <laughs> Ghanaians, we have several tribes. We will say all kinds of things about uh, this tribe is that, that tribe is that. But one thing that I will tell you is the Ghanaians, we try to accommodate ourselves very much. We try. Somebody said that we not had wars recently because we did fight a lot of wars. We did. You know, so I think that psych, you know, it was imprinted upon us say you know tribal wars and that is no good is that that's the kind of division that went on that allowed the europeans to overpower us that's one thing that we should also bear in mind but that doesn't mean say somebody should come somewhere and be dictating to someone and telling them this that and the other which is not true and then debating that i'm demanding this that's an, you cannot go to another man's land and demand anything you live with them peacefully. They see the usefulness of you. They themselves would appreciate you and accommodate you. You know, and to you know, that is what I would say. We should live in peace with one another. Uh, learn to tolerate one another. But let nobody come and tell us any fictitious history and, and assume, say, we would accept it. No, that we will not accept. So, as I said, my brothers and some of our sisters, they listen to as well. I'll say to you, I come in peace. And we should all learn be peaceful with one another. Thank you. Bye. Yes, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, and I may can say history will be here. See a bit soon, a bit soon, a year. Remember, we'll be pulling the wool over our eyes to say, say, you know, this is what happened. When there, there's clear documented proof that say that is not exactly what happened. Okay. And even, uh, <clears throat> now make us say the fight for independence, but now make us so. Uh, these are uh, uh, the battles that Europeans you know they face. It's not actually the fight for independence. The fight for independence. There were many, many battles as well for the independence. Like the Kenyan Ma Maofu, we say they were really fiercely resistant towards the Europeans. There were the, you know, 
uh, so there's, there's so many battles if you go to east africa west africa if you go to say mosifoni say they mounted a very strong battles against the french and even some a uh, tribe will be a move from across a year bambaras or something apparently it wasn't uh the meaning the true meaning of that word no crutches uh, say people who like uh uh, you know, like uh, unruly or rowdy or or uh, if any simple cry say uh, it's like unruly kind of people or they're ready they're and some maybe I know I'll I have to research that back again because Mikai uh, somebody actually told me this or uh, and so forth say and now this Dini to them and that was given to them by foreigners it wasn't that it's not their true name as. Uh, as their tribe but they gave it to them because of their fierce resistance that they put up against the europeans and in africa on a lot of many many tribes i'm sure if hey mr manager <laughs> yeah my guy i think you are doing great because uh, we thank god for his blessings each and every day yeah so far so good um my Ghanaian fellow fellow um, um brothers and sisters I think um, we've been the the thing that is going on is annoying. It, 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 it will agitate you. It will, it will break down your nerves. The more you listen to this Yoruba people and the Igbo people, what they are talking about. But um, when you listen to them very well, you could see that they are championing something and they are back by. Uh, a huge force. A huge force. What do I mean by a huge force? Um, they they talk now. They are championing against um, a certain tribe, the Ghana tribe, and now um, always talking about Ghana. Manche even visit them, and uh, they, he told them they do this when he was young. This was what happened, and all of that. Technically, whether we like it or not. It looks like the government chair is backing them. And if the government chair is backing them, that means um, there are certain people that like the government chair. You, you know, you know, we the youth, how we behave. If we like something, if the person is doing wrong, we still push for that. So, yeah, yeah um, 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 you get certain youth that will back them. And they are using the tribe, the tribe to cause a problem. We have to be wise and know how this dialogue is going. Because the more we get angry and talk about these things, there is no solution. But uh, one thing is that uh, if if it is true that uh, the government is, is is backing them, that's why they have these nerves to be talking all of this crazy stuff. That means there is a problem. And if you don't take care, the Ghana that we are at peace with each other that kind of uh, benefit that we are getting from ourselves will, will, will go away very soon on social media we will champion to one tribe and be bashing them and be talking anyhow at them and and and, and we'll blaming them this is this is um the, the um, this is the agenda of the yoruba people and the Igbo people telling you technically let us be wise it's an agenda that they are pushing they don't want the peace we are joining in Ghana. my brothers let us be wise the peace we are talking about they don't want it they want um differences they want tribal war because they are not at peace in their country how are we getting visitors how people love ghana how ghana is on the map they want to tarnish the image of Ghanaians. I am telling you, it's an agenda. So we have to be wise and know how to talk and how to to to, to see how we can have a conversation with the Ghana people for them to understand. Because Bible said, um, um, wisdom is a principal thing, but in all that I get in, we should get understanding. They are using the Ghana tribe because um the Yorubas and the Igbo people in Asante region 
have you have we seen any of them championing this or talking on radio station or giving platform or have we heard that they are in Kumasi and they are saying this no it is the people in Accra that and 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 the Yoruba people that just came in Accra the it's an agenda they are sat down and plan it very well so they are they are trying saying all these things to agitate us so that we will be dwelling on the galan the gal people they know the gal people are the people that welcome everybody and then look at what they are saying but i thought in ghana everybody in ghana is at peace with each other we 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 we, we are people that welcome um, foreigners but when I hear um, um, today, what's today's date? Um, the 14th. When I hear um, um, some, some slim dude, Yoruba guy that was talking, that was, in fact, I don't know if a uh, Ghanaian journalist, I don't know what is wrong with us. We are the cause of our own problems. Because things like this, why do you give certain things a platform to talk? Because it's not happening everywhere. Why is it happening in Ghana? That's the question. And why is Nigeria certain tribes are pushing this? Now, how is it now Ankara? Ankara. Ghana people don't call anything Ankara. Ghana. Look, so all these things, what is going on? And from the uh, way that guy was speaking, praising the Ghana people, does it, it looks like the people are the one welcoming um, um, every visitors? Well, people, let us think well. Let us think well, because um, it is a brainwash one, and they are praising the gun and gun check for him not to talk. But when you hear those things, you know it can, it can make him to keep quiet. So if we should be wise enough. My father is from um, um, Gardanway. My mother is an Asante. Just that I grew up in, in, in Asante, that's why I don't, I don't really speak the Gardanway um, language. But technically, I have my father from Ghana. But the thing that is going on, and they are all using the Ga people, the Ga people, the Ga people. At first, the Igbo people build that um, palace. And then I saw the Gamanche visiting them. That's not a problem. But technically, they have realized they use the Gamanche to set up an agenda. That agenda, they are really pushing it and it is benefiting them. So we are Ghanaians, we know, and we all know 2 million percent that these people are not from Ghana. The fact that you came through does not mean you are a Ghanaian. The fact that it has happened, we, some of us, my child is born in the US. But still, I always push agenda you are Ghanaian. Even though you have a paper, it's just papers. It doesn't mean he is from America. I, I'm a US citizen. It doesn't mean I'm American. It's purpose. When they think they're purpose, I'm a Ghanaian. So please, let us have a good dialogue and how to use setting because the, 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 the um, our social media is very powerful. It's very, very powerful. That is why we are seeing all these things. It's not just playing it because it's, it's, it, it, it's the same social media platform. That we are all seeing it and we are all fighting against it. But the way things are going, we should know how they talk, how they are using certain people, and how they are using certain places in Africa to champion the agenda. So the fact that um, um, certain people came to live in Makwala does not make you a Ghanaian. The fact that you came to live in Nima does not make you a Ghanaian. People, uh, um, the house of people, not every house of people is from Nigeria. And and I heard him saying um, they even bring uh, cattle, cattle rearing. But I thought um, it's for uh, the cattle rearing, 
and the full Amis. The Guinea, people from the Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Guinea Conakry, I thought, I thought they, they are the people that bring cattle very. So I'm even surprised, certain things they are saying. We should be wise and know what to say and not insult the people, but rather we should, we should get understanding and know the, what the Gamache really is championing it because they are using his name that um uh, oh uh, the Gamache once said oh when he was young he was visiting the Yoruba people and all that. I, I, I don't get it does that mean the Adonians? no so we should be wise we should get understanding and we should know what exactly is happening it is two million percent wrong very wrong because everybody is coming from somewhere and we all settle at one place and we make it our country the fact that you are not part of it you cannot force yourself to be part of it you are not part of it and 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 you you know the problem is that Ghanaians like read the accounts look, look at the they just mingle with the people from um, 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 Kina and, and the Akan people and mess up with the language. That is why they are Akan, but um, they, they speak different uh, language. But even though you can hear certain words that and you know, oh, this is what they are saying. But um, they themselves are not even bothered. We don't have problem when they come because we know exactly in, in, in that um, um, Shanti, where they exactly come from, and 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 the funny thing is, they still pay homage to the Shanti king. They pay homage to Shanti king. Look at their ex president that died. They came and told the Shanti king that this is what has happened to his his, his son. Look, certain things that we they are championing the Yoruba and the Igbo people are championing we should be wise enough as a Ghanaian and um, um because of the, the the agenda what I see from afar is that they are setting up a tribal war every and and and, and certain places in Accra they they, they they are they are they are pushing them so that they can be one with the Ghana people when we talk about uh, differences and all this confusion it was starting in Ghana and we have tribal problem we know better than this and when we, we, we all we all go against the Ghana people they will be part of the Ghana people so that um, they can they can have their powers so they can abuse the land because they are not happy that we Ghanaians are at peace with each other the funny thing is that even uh, Muslims marry Christians Christians marry we don't care love fails at any place that it fell off so please let us be wise and know exactly what they are pushing because it's a big agenda and they are pushing it and it is um, um, agitating us it, we are having problem with it because i get angry when i listen to this kind of words that they talk about i get very annoyed but I think I, I, I listened to the guy and I was thinking deeply that no, these people, they are on agenda, they are on a mission and they, 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 they are really pushing it, they are really pushing it and they are pushing it in the Galand, that is where they are pushing this agenda. Would they succeed, they can succeed if um, they are backed by the king, they can succeed if some politicians really don't care and back them. And you know, we have our, in Ghana, it looks like we love ourselves, but we know ourselves as Ghanaians. We know ourselves. So please, let us be wise and, 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 and have a good dialogue so that we can, we all don't push that uh, the Ga king is doing something wrong. And I, to me, he's doing, if he's part of it, he's doing a mess in the country. He's bringing chaos. And and and, and 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 it's not going to help us it's bringing a big chaos but we should be wise to know how we talk about it so that um, 
we will not go or go against one of the tribe so that they will bring that kind of um, agenda because the more they they, they push the old oh, the people are people that welcome everybody the people that welcome it is stupid because when when you go to the center where you want to go to the eastern where you want to, we all have foreigners we all welcome people we all at peace at each other we all live anywhere we are we like we all eat one food we don't we don't we, we, we don't look down on people that is why we are unique so they are taking us for granted and they are i'm, I'm, I'm taking our weakness they, they have succeeded and and started pushing agenda because they have realized that the king saying something and they are using certain words that he spoke about um a, a, a champion it on it they're stepping on that too so we should be wise enough to know what we see and how we go about things thank you mr niger thank you for, for showing us all these videos so we know how to deal with ourselves. Thank you. Hello, my brother. Please forgive me. Please follow you. For a long time. Please. Ouch. Ouch. Some of your videos. Um, I saw some some of the people's want to create that garland. I mean, the Akla belong to them. You know, one thing, if he, this Yoruba people saw other Niger trap want to come and come to Ghana to come and do their business, it's better for them to focus their own business to stop to, to create that. Part of Ghana is belong to them because if you watch or if you listen to our history mm, before there is no land for how is people in Ghana land? Why? Yes. Some of how is people live with us because according to history, the olden time, some of Yuluba um others how is that um so many traps from outside to come uh, the British peoples that and they want to colonization the colonize the Asantis. Um if you say Asante, Asante is group of a kind. If you like other if you are among in a kind, um if you like tomorrow, if you other you live in Bonland, if you want to join the Asante, you should you go again because Akan is Akan from uh, Akan is the people who find that group. So that time Akan is or Asante people declare that they claim that they didn't want any organization because they want them them they want to they want to take over by themselves. So they bring some Hariza, Yuluba, and other tribes from my side of Ghana, from Nigeria, Gambia, and others to come and help them to fight. So that uh, they declare that according to Mr. Anoche Frempong in the Asante Historia, one of the Asante Historia, he said that the olden time, that is de declared that they never ever allow any Asante my or woman to join the military in ghana because if you join we separate yourself from the uh, ghana so that time they just put hauser and yuluba and others um daga uh, the people's hauser and other tribe to join our army so now that time is past now we get independence so now all that history some some of our chief they try to maintain that uh, secret of what do you call it uh, history because they think that anytime they allow or they bring their history out some of our youth it can it can verse and so that we can start to hitting some Nigerians more 
because nobody can happy to hear that some years back some of nigerians to come follow the betis to come and beating our grand grandfathers and grandmothers so if they need peace it's better for them to live with peace but if they need talk if they they talk 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 talk, talk this he say they want to declare that they are ghana and if he some ghana a kind a kind of is the first settle in ghana before um others it can come only grass is the first settled before in a kind um all that kind start to settle from the touch mine in b one half of touch mine so so touch mine is the first one of that kind so then they they are know the fair air the beginning of gas and beginning of the harvest and others all the history is there so if we did bring the history out i think some of the people they know go get land to my that for to, to stamp in ghana land they go wrong by themselves to go back to nigeria so it's better for them to come there come and leave ghana as a nigeria to do whatever they want to do with peaceful and let us in german together please try to put this my audio for me um anyone who want to listen to me or listen to you make you take something better from inside if you let people need peace in ghana land it's better for them to separate themselves from ghana the name of ghana so there is no land for Yoruba peoples in Ghana. Even according to the law, uh, I'm happy for you to say that if you go to voter region, every peoples and um, Togolese uh, speak the same language. And one of our brother from Ghana, in live in UK, tell you that Ghana, you get a kind of family, which is Kota live in code but they didn't create that they are genius but we are all wine accounts families mm -hmm. so that this every people the ghana laws say that that time we fighting for the independence that time some of ever the part of ghana ever they follow us to fight for the independence so the law mm, record them that they are citizens of ghana um some of our kinds we follow us to fighting for independence some of part of good for our kinds they didn't follow the that fighting see they want to fight for independence of ghana them now they separate themselves to live in good for land so some togo togo ever they never follow us to fight for independence that's why you hear you, you will see see one family some leave the border town of ghana even if you go to upper west or northern part of ghana they get some families some of language or tribe some from burkina some day ghana land but some part of burkina nobody come to ghana we live with burkinas long long time togolese long term no one can declare that voter region is belong to us or northern part of ghana belong to us even if, if you check the map from ghana to nigeria is far you go you go past togo before enter benin before you enter nigeria so now how come say you guys come to ghana to declare that they are part of ghana so even yesterday i saw one comment one one you i think is how i saw the comment I um, expect that that person is you but tell, that, tell us that it's better for Accra, the chief of Accra, order them to come and take the Accra land from the Ghana part of Ghana because that land is belong to Yubas. And um, if you they try, um, if you they try that issue, okay, why Ghana training the soldiers? You get training soldiers in Ghana. Why? Or oh, we, we just spend the money to train our soldiers 
to go and cook them to chop or what? Um, try to believe me. You do you know? Can you believe that the whole West Africa there is no soldier can try the Ghanaian soldiers for action. I didn't want to go far because I love Nigerians. That you best want to bring the uh, bring the troubles against the Nigerians. So that are you know we Ghanaians. Except we people who travel outside, and we know that this one is in from Nigeria. Some of them, yes, if he, he say Nigeria, they didn't say all the total is Nigeria, they didn't know the difference. So, better for you, the people's mm, respect their speech and butter their self from the Ghana part of Ghana and make it come to Ghana to deal with their business and go back home. If you want to live with us, let us live with us. Marriage yourself, enjoyment one Africa together. That if you they like the troubles, make you they continue. And um, if you they bring the history out, and um, if you, you that history enter, we youth we are head. They tafana, they could take resource from us. We respond them. Thank you. Yeah, hello, Nigerian Janus. Good afternoon. How are you doing? You can imagine now what Nigerians are trying to do in Ghana now. After they don't finish Nigeria, when they don't spoil Nigeria like a tomorrow no day, when they don't know how they will take start to face it, now they are running, claiming they are part of Ghana, especially Yorubas. Can you imagine that? They are not ashamed at all. They are not ashamed at all. I just am not ashamed. Honestly. I just am not ashamed at all. Okay, can you tell me? And as they call our crap people, Gache. They know that those Gache, they are in Ghana. Okay, can you tell me? Or can anybody can tell me where you know about you in Ghana? So where you know about land for Ghana? This is what can tell me. You know that you got. They are gotcha. You used to call them. What of you know about you? They are not the same, my brother. These Nigerians are trying to cause confusion. In Ghana, there now. Now I know that their ancestors, so, so whatever they call them, they no educate them at all. No educate them, and so they deceive them that now they give Ghana light. They they are giving Ghana light. They are doing this for Ghana. They are giving Ghana light. They are doing blah 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 blah. Make every Nigeria, all the youth, they take one can kind of look Ghana. So Ghana is nothing. Now here we are. That's. Only gas only the supply for Ghana, where Ghana they buy. That was a combi insult. You can imagine that. And the funny enough, that gas, we get gas, not that Ghana don't get gas, Ghana get gas. Get crude oil. That thing was there for a long time where Komikuma do that, but Komikuma he won't is that he's looking for Africa unit. That's why no one do that uh, gas and oil this in Ghana, because they know that. Africa is very rich. If you listen to a uh, Kamekuma speech, Africa is very rich. This one doing this, he bringing this source. This one doing this one, so Africa can grow up together. Okay. Now we thank God that they discover everything, 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 everything is there. But I don't know why our leaders, our African leaders, are doing causing confusion for youth for their countries. You can imagine. Now you're about trying to claim that uh, they are, see see all those history they are talking about, and there will be this thing, Mamia Lata, Mamia Lata. That's somewhere they see Mamia Lata far from interview. Which year that song start? Which year where that song? Maybe that way they come Ghana, where they come do business. It's my time. They want to do business. I that music come out. <laughs> These people are very funny. You know? My time, the time where I was born, I that music was rainy. Where they are, where, where they do that music. That time, you're about to do business, they come Ghana. 
even them they are separate they are here separate from somewhere don't remain here in nigeria here what are you talking about Yorubas, well, I know the shame at all, Nigerians. I know the shame at all. After we hook up, hook up, hook up for Nigeria, yeah, we get all yeah, we do this. Oh, 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 oh. After everything done, the job, even that small be this, so small. If we never reach two thousand naira, say a little. Now that they cry, they enter another man country. They want to claim another man land. What of uh, if we enter one thousand naira, going to one thousand, uh, we go to two thousand. How that man go be? Nah. Please, uh, Ghana youth, I want us to wake up. Oh. Let us wake up. With that, any leader who want to come there, you let us understand. We are voting for person who will listen to us. Nigerians must go. Nigeria no have land in Ghana there. Nigerians no have land. You're about to do the same thing to Igbo. All the Alaba market, all the property they have. They seize them, they break many of them, they say that they are land. So this is the duty of this Tunubu regime. Oh yes. So this is the time. They need to leave that Ghana also as well. Enough is enough. Because Ghana, we keep quiet too much, they look them too much. We keep quiet, they look them too much. So it can't look like they are too much. See one kind of history where they are talking about. Well, even me, we, even me, we are not even too much go far for about about, about uh, his self. The one the way uh, the one this uh, man tell me here in uh, uh, I would see a low self. I know that uh, this man, this man with the for Ghana, they would talk about television. I know that he's lying, very very broad liar. What are you talking about? This recent British go bring uh, Nigeria, bring. Uh, Burkina bring some people to come and fight Ghana so that they can get their self free. After a fight finish, they even said, I even they make I even they surprise that. And just know they are, they are not ashamed at all. After white man come carry you, come fight your fellow black. Even that fight self, you don't know if it's succeed. Before we succeed, self, even, even some of them even have lost on our life. Some of them will not even hear them. But they just use sense, come down. To, so you want to see what you want to do, they give up. Now, no one claim that they want to be part of Ghana. I don't really ashamed at all. In case if you're an ancestors, you see if you're an ancestor, you don't know what you're doing. Make you rather come for a drink here in Nigeria. Here, make an ancestor tell you now which land you belong to. I think that would be better. Mm. I think that would be better. You know what I mean? 800. It's so better to enjoy yourself. Hmm? As if they wanna do like that. That would be better. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. God bless you. I've I've heard the guy come on air again and still fool himself. He's a very disgraceful person. He's talking about insult, insult, insult. I don't know where he resides. I don't know where he lives. But well, I don't want to say something. I think he doesn't even understand the language he speaks because the message I sent over, he couldn't understand it. So he's still continuing to speak in a silly way that it thinks freezes him. He's just talking rubbish. First of all, he was supposed to define, I asked him to define what insult is. He didn't do it. Our client, I made mention, I explained the reasons why I accuse people in the way that I do. He couldn't dispute those allegations. Do you see him as sensible? Or somebody who claims to be knowledgeable, as he seems to be claiming? He's just, he just a funny guy. On my last audio, I explained the reason. I can remind him of being I can remember of something. We have average president. We have failed president. We have successful presidents. And I gave all the reasons that I could. I thought he was coming online. He was coming. He was sending voice message to dispute anything that I said. He came to talk rubbish again. He told to talk rubbish. He, didn't even, he doesn't know when ID card program started in Ghana. He didn't know those who started it 
and as up to this stage that we are here we are we are in now claiming you know sort of crediting somebody who has yes no government that's nothing every government does something but people have their priorities and we have destroyers when we talk of destroyers it's on the basis of major issues serious issues so as i'm saying he doesn't understand the language i spoke and so he only comes on air and now uh, and comes and embarrass himself and makes people annoyed i thought i was not going to say anything but if i don't say anything he might think he has defeated me you see what i mean he talks only bullshit. first of all i asked him to explain define what an insult is he couldn't do it and i made mention of many things that warrants guarantees or maybe something that makes me qualified to accuse somebody who calls himself a leader and i made mention of many things when he came on air with his uh, voice note he couldn't dis he couldn't dispute any of them he couldn't even mention any of them because he doesn't he didn't understand it so he's a funny person you see i wanted to send voice note to say that there's a saying there's a common saying that if you follow a foolish person for too long you might be seen as a fool yourself because the person is foolish you always annoy and continue annoying because whatever you say the person doesn't understand it uh, okay let me speak my language for him to hear uh, but maybe uh, i don't know which language he speaks in ghana but you should be able to understand my language my friend we are quite we are quite we are boy and some of my kind on the table of and i won't name you and you know you couldn't understand it you couldn't come one thing i make i say as well i can't wait and you know correct as well i can't say you know because you don't understand it and to you come and talk long and just make people annoyed you see i've been telling mr manager that if people are talking nonsense people who don't make sense you shouldn't even continue playing the audios but you know he's doing his work because all the audio you brought in this long audio focusing on me call somebody bald head and he, i told you that if you are a sensible human being you don't quench fire with fire obviously also will be insult also the insult never be shared no when you answer no no i'm so mommy when you say what's going on come on you saw what's going on until what jimmy said no we are quite siapa i go for the animal grassy will be any sir this is what we're jimmy make a choice we are corrupter now we need me answer now we are self into self-centered interest person and now we are tribalistic the obi abian you just ignore them you ignore everything that wrong thing that people are doing because you have interest in what they are doing because you don't think we are born to win and quietly and you are coming back again to say the same thing go back and listen to the audio i sent and come back and tell me if you were able to answer the questions i did ask on that audio now when you answer audio you are coming to talk foolishness again you are talking about my channel it means you are a fool you are not brought up in the house in a civilized home you are talking about my channel it means that you are you just all the way you are we will free you you don't know what you are talking about you are talking you don't know anything you you are, you are laughable what's it and somehow can be said somebody would listen to you yeah, nobody will be on tell me such a channel and look at him says hey wait jimmy cry we are black right we didn't say ever facebook ever youtube we didn't say it's out of my home i was not in person make me 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 well and i'm in person with you but and i'm saying if you say they make an alien answer someone and you answer forward to say yes and in a castle until my baba can be reply with you somehow can you know you're quite serious and somehow can you like us oh yeah boy yeah boy and the two feet yeah boy we mean it's so and then somehow can you know such as a wound machine you can't even read you can speak you know you can speak english language anyhow but that doesn't mean you have even been to school the problem i've seen with you is that you don't even understand when we speak the english language okay i don't know why you reside but 
you express yourself anyhow, but you can't read. England, huh? when I came here some years back, what I got to know was that in those times, you know, there were 10 million illiterates in England only, not the whole UK. And so when they come to the school, you see them, they can speak their own language, not like yours. And yet the way I work, I say, because you don't know even the, the kind of, <laughs> uh, you don't know the words you are using even. You are just going around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so they were standing they, they were able, they were not, most of them were not able to write. But when you see them, they will speak their language. You see what I mean? Yeah, not even, but their language, that is it. It's not like the way you are speaking, anyway. I'm not saying, you know, that anybody who, who speaks, you know, English in, you know, in their own ways are not educated. That's not what I'm saying. But yeah, we are so, we are quasia in such a way, say, we are, the only man is always accused of, of insult because of greediness, because of following fools. Because the video, I, the audio I sent, I gave you so many reasons. You have never been able to dispute any of them, but you are still accusing somebody. How are you planning on? I bought a home first. What's wrong? When you plan on any deal, when someone can, I know you. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing your face. You don't know. You don't know. So you know you you have Kosine Jimmy. Kosine Jimmy. Some of the kind you are not sending. Some of the kind you are not sending. But I cook for him. Mr. Mbeka is saying me references. What is America? America? I'm not going to see so. And you have not been able, you have never been able to come and dispute anything that I'm saying. That you call insult. And what is insult? You can't even define insult. And I've asked you to define insult. And you are still fooling. You can't do it. And you are still fooling. I've made numerous allegations based upon which I've been saying what I'm saying. And you have not been able to dispute any of them. So I want listeners, listeners to listen to that guy who comes to accuse somebody of being bald head. But this same person is not able to dispute the accusation or allegations that I'm making, I've been making all the time. So you have to come and define what insult is and also dispute anything that i've been saying against the person that you are supporting if you can't do this i don't think you have to come and fool yourself again okay i'm sorry that uh, people like you you know make provoke us to come online i mean to come on social media to speak the way that we speak but if we don't do that because that is so we feel say what can be be a man what me me we are buapa, uwa pakura, uwa pakura ni mnyanya, uwa pano mami ni na, uwa ni mnyanya, yanti tio mu. Because we Jimmy too much. You accuse somebody, but you don't. You are not able to say you said this. It's not true. You said this. I've said it. It's not the same thing I told you before. This you are useless of audio. And so you come back again and fool. I don't know the way. I don't know if you are trying to make yourself a American or whatever. I don't know the language you are speaking. We are quite yeah, papa, 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 papa. We are boy, one casa. I'm telling you, we are boy, one casa. We are boy. Yeah, we are sick of one casa also. And you know, your friend insult, you know. I went to meet you, you know. Over TV, we are quite yeah, we are boy, one casa. Did you want to say something? What's your name? So I can't be being a man. You are not just being a man. Pese, you are Mister Manager. I'm ready. Respect, I'm man. Until I'm in person, I'm a bad man. But what the we will join pa. I'm asking you to come and define what insult is and dispute me. Okay? Dispute all those explanations that I've given. If you really want to tell people that you can read and write. I've given reasons. All the reasons that I could for saying what I've been saying. And because you can't read and write, you didn't even mention any. You are only interested in what you are interested in. We are quasiapa. We are bua ujamba. No, no, no. Mr. Manager, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, if you are not agree with everyone here, you simply say you are not agree. You can reply. 
they can reply us because already if me people may ask why would you not talk about Yoruba today because I have a lot of the videos of the Yoruba people are sending me but the attack is not easy <laughs> Hey, people have been sending, they be attacking me, bumper to bumper. Hey, you are trying to uh, sabotage, to, uh, sabotage or whatever. You are trying to leak our secret. I don't know what secret they are talking about. Oh. People are rushing out, so let me not talk. But I'll still bring in the video because I'll still bring it. Thank you. <laughs> because a lot of people are attacking me. I don't know if they are the robust. They see, say, you know, your Ghanaians are para. Now, instead of them laying their voice and telling us where the history was, they rather come at me. And that's okay, let me hold on some more. Then later, we'll bring the video back. Because I see a lot of you are sending me the video so that I can publish it. Yes, I know. But because I'm getting a lot of passwords, people are dragging me on WhatsApp, calling me, sending me word of threat. <laughs> Who threat? He threat no if you do me anything now. How can you threat me in Ghana? You be threat me in Ghana? How? How is he going to threat me? People who don't do more than that, they don't do them. They don't do me anything now. You are going to threat me. You. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> don't worry, we'll continue, okay? Thank you. I don't know if it is the Yoruba, if the Yoruba so, but uh, no worry, we'll continue. Because I know they are afraid of anybody. Because I'm ready. Before I'm coming out here, you know, say I'm ready before I'm coming out to talk. So, anything that is coming, we are ready to stand it. We are waiting for you. Thank you. Your stress cannot mean.